Are you sick of getting scar tissue from your injection sites? Have you been living with type 1 diabetes for over 10 years? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you where I inject on my body and how I'm able to minimize the amount of scar tissue from daily injections. Alright, stay tuned. everyone hope everyone is doing well uh, in this short video I'm going to show you where I alternate and why I alternate my injection sites to avoid uh, gaining scar tissue now for all our non diabetics that don't really know what this is if you constantly inject in one spot of your body especially if it doesn't have a lot of body fat on it uh, around it uh, you're going to develop what's called scar tissue now when you inject and yeah, and you develop scar tissue. It's like um, it's like a like a like a tough layer of skin, and you can literally feel it as you in inject with your pen. You can feel that that rough, tough scar tissue, and you want to avoid that. You wanna you wanna alternate your sites so you don't develop a lot of scar tissue from constantly injecting. Now, everybody's a little bit different, right? Everybody uh, stores body fat in different areas. Now. They say you should inject um, in fat, right? It's just easier in your body, right? It absor absorbs better. Um, my body is a little bit weird. Um, I never inject in my stomach. I never. Well, correction. If like if I'm out and about and I can't roll up my pant leg or whatnot, then yeah, I'm gonna roll up my shirt and I inject in my stomach. But I found over the years that my stomach is it's too sensitive uh, when I inject if I if I were to take like I would say like a week if I take a week's worth of injections in my stomach I'll develop uh, markings and scar tissue real fast and <laughs> anyone that knows me I have a short torso <laughs> right? I got I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of surface area the guy I got a short torso so anyways um, most of my injections, and I'm going to show you, most of my injections are on my, my quadriceps. Uh, so I'll take you guys in right now. So where I inject, and I'll show you pretty close, where I inject is right through here. Right through here, right? So I'll take all these spots here. I'll take all these spots, and I got a lot of surface area where I can alternate my injection sites. Now you can probably see, right? You can probably see the, the markings on my quadriceps. But you, I have a lot of surface area. I have more surface area versus my stomach um, where I can choose to inject. Now, <laughs> I also inject in my butt and my bum, right? It's a reality, right? Why? It's another surface choose it's another spot to choose from uh, where I can inject now only the only con behind that it's a little <laughs> you're, you're flying blind here right but uh, you get used to it it's a little difficult but um, if you're if you're a type 1 diabetic uh, and you're getting scar tissues from constantly injecting try alternating um, your sites choose sites that you have more fat in uh, and that's gonna make it a, a little bit easier um, triceps um, I never inject my triceps. Like I, I never. Uh, I'll choose my stomach over my triceps. Uh, my triceps have zero body fat on it, and it's just the way it is, right? Um, and 
guys too. Guys don't store um, fat around the triceps. You know, guys typically store fat, you know, in the stomach area. But triceps, no. Most of my injection sites where I choose on my body is on my quadriceps and my bum. And I make sure I alternate, I rotate uh, my injections so I avoid um, getting scar tissue. All right, guys, that's all I have time for today, guys. I appreciate you landing on this channel. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be well, be safe, and we'll all get this through together. All right, peace.